Hello everyone. So now we are doing this project. I hope you remember design and implement a in small company network. In this one, we have the lab. We have the different department: first floor, second floor, third floor. We done already. And last thing, we need to enable the SSH in the router and switch. Already in the video number eleven, video number seven, we already done the router SSH. Now we need to do the SSH configuration in the switch. and then we need to ping from one pc okay the pc which is present in the it so already i configure here if you want i will show you and here in this router we will do that one so first of all what i done here i exclude the ip that is 192.168.10.1 till 10.10 .10. so i told in this range don't give the ip we are going to use and i use 10.2 to assign this switch so we should have the ip right without ip i cannot do the telnet or ssh so 10.2 we plan and we told router don't give this ip to anyone and inside the vlan 10 i configured this ip and i configured the default gateway and i enable the telnet or ssh after that i can do the ssh here if you see this is the ssh dash l abc and whatever ip i configure and then i will put the password i am able to access the switch one so this switch one is working perfectly now i need to do same thing here for the switch two so here i have the other switch so same thing here i am going to assign the what i can say in the vlan 50 i am going to do the configuration so i need to assign the ip to this switch for vlan 50 i am going to assign so you need to exclude the some ip from the vlan 50 So if you see here, I exclude here. Let me show you. Let me go here and show you where is DA, DSCP configuration here. If you see, I told exclude the IP 192.168.50.1 till 50.10. So any IP I can use and assign the that IP to this switch. So here I will go to this switch and generally we are configuring dot two. So here I will configure dot two only 50.2. So I am inside the switch, and here I will go to the global configuration mode, and I will check what VLAN we have here. Do show VLAN brief, and here I am planning to use VLAN 50. So I will go here interface VLAN 50, okay, and here I will give IP address. Why I am using VLAN 50? Because they are saying IT department. You can use anything. So IT because we done inter VLAN, so it will work. So I am using 50 only here. so directly the it guy can ping same vlan okay but anyhow you can use any vlan so i am giving the ip here 50.2 because in the dscp server we told don't give this ip to anyone that's why i am configuring here so i done this configuration so with the help of this ip we can do the ssh now we need to do the ssh configuration so whenever you are doing the ssh configuration you need to write ip domain name and give any name abc i am giving after that you need to write crypto key generate rsa and then you need to define any value here and after that ip ssh version 2 and then what we need to do we need to write lan vty 0 to 4 okay transport input ssh and login local and local user i think we already have if we don't have we need to create let's see we have or not do uh, show run and if you see we have the local user also and we need to configure the default gateway so here i will go i will write ip default gateway default gateway we will give the what is the ip of that one 50.1 sub interface ip we will give that one now all the configuration done uh, let's try to do the ssh so same computer we will go here as they told it computer should able to do that one so i am here in the it computer you can move like this and you can check here so if you see here i will put the ip 50.2 and ping now they are uh, press enter they are asking the password if i put the password i am inside the switch okay so ssh is working here everything is good i enable the ssh in the switch to also now we need to do the switch 3 so let's do in the switch 3 so how we will do i will go to the switch 3 switch 3 is in third floor i think yeah third floor 
you can assign the configuration what we can say you can do the uh, IP you need to assign the IP to the switch then only it will work so we need to give any IP we are using here VLAN 70 and VLAN 80 so I will give VLAN 70 IP only so if you are planning to give VLAN 70 IP you will give like 192, 168, 70.2 we will give 70.2 but here already we configure here 70.2 2 will be given to some computer right so what I will do here in this router I will first I will write show run and if you see here if you see what we done here we told give exclude the 70.1 so we need to exclude 70.2 also as we are planning here so first thing I will remove this no and then after that I will put this but I will say 70.1 till 70. Uh, 70 dot 10 don't give this IP from this starting from 192.168.70.1 till 192.168.70.10 don't give this IP we are saying to the router and I will save the configuration so this will be reserved for us later like now we need to assign the IP to the switch so we are giving 70.2 later if you have any more device you can use from this range so now I will come here 70.2 we are planning to give this switch and here I will go to the switch and here I will write enable, enable password and I will go in the config T and also here these computers if they get already IP do the what we can say here again like this so that IP will be not given by the DSCP server before if you see 70.2 is there so you will have the IP config so that's why we need to remove that one so I remove that one and if you see this one DSCP and they get the correct IP and interface and everything is correct so now let's go to this computer here also I will click this DSCP so he is getting the IP correctly now what we will do here we will do the configuration so first of all configuration we need to do interface VLAN 70 right because we told in the VLAN 70 we will give so we go under that one and I will write IP address whatever IP we plan 192.168 70.2 we told 70.2 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shared so just we assign the IP address if you want to check you can write do show IP interface brief so we configure what we configure if you see here at last VLAN 70 we assign this IP and I need to give the default gateway so I will give the default gateway as a router interface because we are using the sub interface so what we give this IP we give so I will give this one as a gateway and then you need to create the user so I will write use username or enable password first I will give this one enable password ABC then I will create username ABC password ABC and then we will do the IP domain domain name ABC after that we will write uh, what we can say crypto key generate RSA after that here you can give any number and here IP SSH version 2 then what we can say line VTY 0 to 4 transport input all and then after that what we will do sorry transport input all means telnet SSH both will work I will give transport input SSH and login local means local database and already we give the default gateway I think let me cross check I will write do show run here we enable the what we can say SSH and gateway we give or not let's see yeah we give everything is done I hope it should work let's try to check our this computer is able to do the SSH or not IT guy IT guy right this is IT or what where is IT this one is the IT guy who is doing the SSH so let's go and try I will exit this one I will write here what is the IP 70.2 so I will write here 70.2 let's see yeah it is getting the password so I will give ABC I am inside the switch 3 so it is working also if you want to check the configuration show run everything is working perfectly okay so how I done this configuration simple what you need to remember first you go to the router and remove the DSCP 
uh, whatever the DSCP pool we are planning to use, whatever IP you are planning to use, that IP you need to remove from the DSCP pool. Example, whenever you want to do any device as a telnet or SSH, the device should have the IP. So you should give some IP. So now we can give VLAN 70 IP, we can give, so gateway also we can give the router interface IP, that is sub-interface IP 70.1. So if you are give, planning to give 70.2, then you need to remove that range from the DSCP. So DSCP server will not give that IP to other computer, else you will have the IP conflict. So for that purpose, first we go inside the router here and we remove that one. If you see where I put, I put here this one. So I told DSCP server don't give the IP starting from 70.1 till 70.10. Then next thing after that you need to go to the switch here you need to assign the IP this IP you assign and assign the gateway after that do the SSH configuration that's all so it is start working so if you see this one we done and and here if you see in the point number 10 in IT department we can install one PC to access all the router with SSH router and switch so already we have here this is the IT department where is the IT? This one. And here we have one computer is installed and we are checking here only he is able to access all the router, all the switches with the help of SSH. So with this one our project completed successfully. Design and implement small company network. This one is finished successfully. And also if you see here, this is the access point. Okay, this is the access point you have here but they did not mention this access point we need to put in which VLAN. So I'm keeping this one as default one, like a VLAN one only. If they ask you anything, we can do that one, okay? Now I keep like that only, they did not mention anything. If you see here, each floor is, uh, what we can say, each floor is expected to have the Wi-Fi network connected to the laptop and phone, that's all. But here they did not mention the Wi-Fi. So if you want, you can put this interface in VLAN 10. So it will work with VLAN 10, this interface. Here if you see 30, 20, 10, wherever you want, you can put. Same thing here, if you want to put this in 50 or 60 or 70 or 40, you can move this interface where you, like example, if your manager told this Wi-Fi is for only store guy. So move this in VLAN 30. Same thing here, if the guy is saying, this is only for VLAN 50, then move this into VLAN 50. Same thing if your manager is saying this one for 70 only, so move the access point into VLAN 70. That's all, okay? That is simple up to the company, but here they did not mention, so I'm not doing anything. I'm keeping the default one. Later, whenever your manager told you to do that one, you can do that, whatever they are asking to you, okay? I hope you understand this one. Try to like our Facebook page. We are going to share this topology in our Facebook page and also in our Telegram channel. So join our Telegram channel and the Facebook page. Link is already in our video description. Okay, thank you. Bye. With this one, we finish. This lab is closed. Now we are going to start the new lab. That is new project. Enterprise new lab. Okay, thank you. Bye.